Apollo car number 19. Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you taking the time to visit and check out my video. We are back here in LFM, here at the longer race here at Masano. Uh, I made some changes I'm not too confident of. We'll see how it goes. I didn't get a clean lap qualifying, so I'm back here in 13th out of 38 cars. I think I could have gone up a little bit better. I just couldn't get a good clean lap. There's a lot of traffic, so it's just the way it goes. But we'll see what we can do. Pretty crazy this first couple laps. Green, green, car left. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. He's still there. Clear left. Car left. Three wide, you're on the right. Car left. Clear left. Garcia is now in the lead. I see there's a Bentley up here and an Aston Martin. Isn't that great to see all these different vehicles. Car right. Clear right. Right side. All right, all right, Steve. The pit window is now open. Whoop. You're in the middle, three one, clear all round. On your right. Right side's clear. Yellow flag. Green flag, all clear. Car right. Still there. Clear right. Let him go. Place. Pull away a little bit, I don't know. Got a little bump. I got wrecked.
we're going. Need more pace. Garcia, 133.00. Okay, Steve, as the car exits in the pits, heads up. The gap to stun in front is now 1.1. The gap to SCC behind is now 1.4. Sector 1 is yellow. We think engine has stacked it. Sector 1 is green. Keep it within the track limits. They're barely hanging on. Pulled away a little bit, not much. Tires don't look too bad. Dang it. The stewards have warned us for cutting the track. It. Keep it between the light lines.
Stone. Ahead is now 0.6. Gap to SCC. Behind is now 2.8 seconds. Pay attention to track limits. Please, Steve. Hang it. to his bumper close to it but holding his pace, but he'll be picking it up a little bit. Okay, Steve, you've got half your fuel left. Yellow flag in sector one. We think that Yellow and Tyrone have spun out. Green flag sector one.
want to get in out of bounds. Let me go by. Halfway, not even.
still running near my Delta, so... Settle up here. Here come some cars. It takes it is clear. Push now. I could find a little bit more pace. Car feels good, but you know, it's just not it needs some more speed.
lost out a little bit on the other BMW. Put more brakes to the front. The rears are way overheated. I don't know if it didn't uh, save my pressures or what.
in seconds. The gap to Link one. behind is now 0.7. Mess my hood up. Everybody up there. Okay. The gap to Ingram in front is now 1.9. Keep digging, this isn't over yet. Sixth place, the gap to Lindelof behind is now 1.4 seconds. Not far behind. There's 
Ross does, getting closer and then fixed up in traffic and get screwed up. Second, so yellow flag. Left side, clear left. Green flag, you're clear. Yellow flag, stay sharp. Ahead is now 2.8 seconds. The gap to Lip low. Behind is now 1.5 seconds. Green flag sector 3. That lap was at 135.80. Not a good lap. Not that traffic. Whoa. Oh, so we got drive through. Incident clear. Green flag. BMW. Man, I just gotta stay clean. Guess he's not gonna pit. Fuel. Got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Disqualified. The actor in front is now 3.7 seconds. The lap time was at 135.16. The gap to Massa behind is now back there, that McLaren. Oh, now it's the uh, Lamborghini. I think he's 
catching me too. Yep. He must have had to do a drive through or something. D6. Closing in two minutes. He's gonna wreck me. He was really going in on places I don't, you know, thought he's gonna touch me. So he was faster. I mean, he caught up to me. So, so just you know, you gotta know when to fight and know when not to fight. Still, if I can hold this, it'd be a good result. Starting 13th and finishing 6th, I'll take that all day long. That's what I got to look at is the is the uh, the long game, so I can yellow flag, stay sharp, compete in the upper, you know, upper uh, splits. Green flag, you're clear. You know, this is the number one split, but, I mean, you know, when they have a lot of splits, I, w I would like to stay in the number one or number two split if they had, like, six or eight. Oh, I'll have to go. So, the only way to do that is to really keep going on the points. hurt getting all those out of bounds because that's incident points so I hate that but eh.
six. Okay, that's the end. Good finish, mate. Well done. I still think that's a really good uh, result. Also, I got this uh, livery off a of race department. I think it's it's pretty basic, but it's really awesome. It's the um, well, it doesn't help. Somebody's in my spot. <laughs> Um, it's a car that won the Indy 8 hour WRT car so I think it looks really cool um, love just love the livery it looks nice so I just figured I'd run that um, but again I'm real happy with the result uh, moving up from you know 13th up to 6th uh, top BMW <laughs> But, you know, there was a lot of good cars in there. That Bentley was going good. I think he got a drive-through, but he was going really good. He was way up there. Um, you have Aston Martins up there. I mean, you know, the Ferrari, I think that's a 488, I think. Um, there was a 488 in there that was up front. It was ahead of me. So, again, there's a lot of other cars. I like that. Uh, again, I think the BOP for LFM is working very well. And, uh, of course, um, it makes it more enjoyable. So we'll run over to the LFM website to see the results and, of course, come back here to Masano. All right, we're back here at the LFM website and uh, see the results. And it was really good result, good race. Um, I, you know, really, to be honest, probably fortunate uh, that I got where I was. A couple guys got some drive throughs and things. So, again, just trying to stay clean, out of trouble. Um, and I was right up against the wall with three, uh, you know, out of bounds. So again, um, you know, that's what hurts. I got 15 points on my incident points. So my safety rating barely moved, um, only 0 0.02, which isn't that big a deal at eight is okay. Um, or eight and a half actually, or whatever. Uh, the big one is the ELO went up 98. So we're over 2000 and that's the first time ever that I've gotten over 2000. Uh, on my elo so hopefully that's a, a sign of things to come and i can keep building on that and just keep trying to get these top tens or top fives and just trying to be up in the front um and then that way you know i can always i mean obviously there's only one split but when they do have a lot of multiple splits maybe i can be up more towards the first or second split um and you know makes it really uh try to push my performance so i can be better and better um Again, really good racing by a lot of people. So, again, really happy, really happy with the uh, the BOP. Um, again, you see a lot of different cars up there. And, of course, the Bentley was there, and he should have been up there, but it's just things happen. Um, but, again, really happy. Uh, we can look and see. Is this the one I was looking at? Yeah. And as you can see, you know, where I've gone all forever and ever i mean I'm, I'm way up here at the top and new territory so again that's really good and actually went up to my silver license so that's good first time i've had that so again just moving up um little by little and that's what counts going in the right direction so i hope you and you know i hope you enjoyed the race but uh of course we're going to run back to masano real quick so we can go over the setup um i am gonna uh see if i can just mess with a few things and see if I can get some more performance out of it. Um, still not happy. Uh, consistency wasn't too bad, but not happy with, um, you know, the performance. So again, I'm gonna see if I can find a little bit, a uh, little bit more of that. And, uh, we'll run back over to Misano. All right, back here, Misano doing, I uh, have done many, many, many laps. Um, it's still not maybe perfect, but it's definitely an improvement. Um, as I'm carrying a little bit more fuel as I normally, you know, over what I did in the race, um, and I'm gotten faster. So not maybe where I want to be, but it is really, it is a lot better. Um, definitely hard going, just trying to get, find the performance in the feel and, just everything uh, across the board, just trying to keep the tire wear good, trying to um, keep the car neutral. It's having a tendency to where the back end wants to have some oversteer to it, so I've been trying to take that out. Um, 
and just you know trying to see what it likes what it doesn't like basically with the wing it even if with uh right now the wings maxed out at, at eight but even if you take wing out the cb was the same so i didn't i didn't even really that didn't really do anything but i've tried a lot of different stuff um you saw the, t the time was a 34.10 i did have a 33.86 but i went out of bounds at the dog leg there by a little bit so that caught that erased that but i did have a 33.8 some um so it's there it's right high 33s low 34s it was really consistent um i was really hitting it within about a tenth and a half every lap there for a long for a good amount of laps so i, I did like that part of it uh, we got 24.8 left front, 24.5 left rear, 26 right front, 25.7 right rear. The toe is maxed out at a negative 0.2 with the camber at negative 3.6 on the left front, negative 3.4 on the right front, and the caster at 12.6. The toe on the rear is a positive 0 0.05 with the camber at negative 2.8 on the left rear, negative 2.6 on the right rear. And again, keeping the, the temperatures and everything uh, equal as much as I can um across the tires uh this is really about is optimized really nothing here i'd like to try electronics are three and one um now you can go to four uh so just keep that in mind definitely important um i, I it's kind of in between i kind of like three maybe for the beginning when the tires are really fresh, but then I like going to four after a few laps because it just has that, it has that gradual rotation where sometimes you get three and with the motor coming on, you get a little bit too much oversteer. So when you hit four, it just has that perfect, you know, where you can get on the gas early and the car rotates just like you want it to. So just keep that in mind. Very important. Um, fuel 55 liters, number one brake pad. Again, tire wear is really good. Uh, I got five on the anti roll bar, 54 on the brake bias, steering at 11. I'm, I'm between 10 and 11. I don't know. I, I like either way. Uh, springs are 165,000 on the front with a bump stop rate of 400 and a bump stop range of 10. And on the rear, the springs are 150,000 with a bump stop rate of 300 and a bump stop range of 35. Uh, anti roll bar is three and the preload is 100. Here, I tried a, lots of different things. Um, I did have side of softer springs. It, it went slower, so I, I didn't like that. So I went up, and um, it was fine. It went faster with the stiffer springs. Um, also, bump stop rates have changed. Um, tried some different bump stop rates and ranges. Um, pretty good there. Maybe wouldn't mind going maybe a little stiffer to see if it would help. But, you know, right now it's definitely uh, better than it was. Here on the diff, went down, went, took diff out, but it, it didn't like it. Um, it was wanting to, I think, spin a tire in that first sector, going through a lot of, you know, going through all that maze and stuff, that first sector of the track at Masano. And so I kept adding more diff and the better it would get. So that's where I've settled at 100, but definitely tried a lot of different other, you know, things. Sway bars was a big deal too. Um, tried a lot of different, different combinations with that. And this is different than what it was in the race by a good amount. Um, so, again, it really feels a little bit more planted as far as neutral, as far as front to rear. So, a lot of things have changed here. You can go down to 53 in the brake bias, no problem. Um, you can't even go a little bit lower than that, but 53 isn't an issue. Shocks on the front are 7, 2, 12, and 8. And on the rear, they're 3, 1, 10, and 3. Again, dialed in all by my uh, MoTeC. And definitely a little bit different from what it was in the race, but I kept checking it and just just dialing in a little bit more. I think it's really close, so I'm really happy with that. And it really goes over the bumps well. You can go over the sausages, attack them pretty aggressively, and um, it it goes right over them without even upsetting the car. So that's really good. Arrow got 51 in the front, 57 in the rear with a maxed out wing. And a four and a four and a brake ducts in the front arrow variation is a 1.5 to the positive. Here, not much different than it was from the race. Um, I just I raised the ride height in the rear just one click, but the toe is a lot different. I got more negative toe, and of course the sway bar is a lot different front and rear from what it was in the race. So, um, but I did add one more in the ride height, but that's about it. Um, 
like I said, it's it's a really solid combination. Um, I would really like to find another two or three tenths solid. Um, but again, you know, it's probably a few adjustments away and maybe driving too, or you just got to keep improving upon, uh, your lines and, um, you know, like I do and, um, you know, just being smoother and hitting your marks and things like that and carrying more corner speed. So again, I still think it's really good and improvement over wasn't a race. I hope you enjoyed the race. Um, I thought it was pretty good. And again, you know, keep going up in LFM and that's what I want to keep doing. Just, you know. Keep the uh, peaks and valleys not so no you know not so peaky and not so valley I guess uh, just a gradual going up is good I'm happy with that and again I hope you give me a like and subscribe really appreciate it and of course the setup is free it will a link to it will be in the description and of course it will be in my Discord also where I have a link for my Discord in the description also so again I really appreciate it and again uh, thank you to Mark and Larry for their support and I sure hope that you all. Uh, come back and visit again really soon. See ya.